<laughs> you guys, you don't understand how funny I find that um, whenever I start a video because I always do the same thing. So when I do my edits, it's always the start of the video. It's always kind of my head, my uh, my head poking into the into the uh, the uh, what is it called? Into the scene, into the picture. I don't know. Uh, and uh, just being like, whoa. <laughs> so it makes me laugh. I'm just moving some pieces down just to get some more space for my actual puzzle. I, uh, I've been doing 500 piece puzzles a lot lately um, on camera, of course. And uh, so this is the first thousand piece puzzle I've gotten back into in quite a while. And oh my goodness, the pieces are so small compared to the 500, of course. But you kind of forget how much smaller the pieces really are. So I'm hoping that is not going to be a hindrance to me later, but we shall see. So um, what you're seeing me do now is just kind of move the pieces um, off of the puzzle board space. Um, I did think about moving the puzzle space um, to this side that I'm on right now over here. <laughs> Um, but, uh, um, but I just said, nah, and that's to that. And I'm going to just keep doing it the way I've always done it. Cause that's what works. And sometimes I have problems with the technology of these videos. So I don't need any additional stressors. So if something works, I'm just going to stick with it for now. And then maybe, um, over the, the winter months, I'll kind of branch out. But right now I kind of like setting up my board or my puzzle space like this. Um, so all the pieces to be sorted kind of go over to one side and then that gives you enough space to actually put your puzzle board, if you will. Um, so yeah, Ta -da! okay. Now, can you see this sort of, sort of, not really. Uh, all right, just one more time just to show you. Just a silly scene with um, animals. <laughs> nothing, nothing really crazy. You can't even see that, goodness gracious. There, maybe. All right, good enough, you just have to trust me. Okay, so now I'm going to flip over. So of course what I do is I always um, put all the edge pieces to the side and um, and then I always work from the um, edge pieces or the perimeter. Once those are assembled, I work from out towards in. That was probably the most awkward way I could have said that sentence. Holy moly. Ah. Anyway, nonetheless. Okay. Oh, I feel short of breath. I don't even know why. Ooh, probably because I'm talking a mile a minute. Listen, if you grew up on Gilmore Girls, I feel like that show really kind of set the tone for the pace of conversation you have to keep up, eh? <laughs> Lorelai, I'm looking at you. Hang on, where are we here? Well, maybe this will work. Hang on, let's see. Uh, there we are. Lorelai, I'm looking at you because you would have said that sentence like in a split second. <laughs> All right, nonetheless, let's get back into it. Okay, so um, I can't get over how small the pieces are compared to the uh, compared to the five hundreds. Okay, so the easiest way for me to be able to do this is to break it down um, e uh, school by school and uh, kind of see how that goes. But who knows? Make plans, someone laughs. So let's see. Let's see what I can do with this. Um, but yeah, um, okay, so uh, my first, my goodness, for an educated woman, how do I sound? Oh, um, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so I went to St. Mary's University and I started off doing a history major. And it was, um, it was really good. Um, I liked the arts program at St. Mary's. Um, I found that campus to be small enough so that I didn't feel overwhelmed, but big enough so that I felt like there was a, certainly a transition 
between high school and university. Now, some people prefer to go to other schools just based on size alone. Okay, well, that's like, that's your prerogative. Um, whatever, whatever you need, I think, to feel comfortable, um, because I truly believe only when you feel comfortable will you be able to learn. Now, that's not to say you won't be stressed, because I really don't think that every stress is a bad stress. Now, I may, listen, I'm already gone off tangent, but just stick with me. It does loop back around, okay? Very full circle, if you will. Not sure why I'm doing the buddy ears, but nonetheless. Um, if you try to, I, okay, I think if you try to do anything where the environment is not conducive for you, I don't see how you can succeed. I think that your mind will always be elsewhere. Am I safe? Am I this? Am I that? Because that's how I feel now. Like, even though I'm here doing this, my brain is also paying attention to what noises are outside. Like earlier when a vehicle pulled up, I was, unex I was not expecting that vehicle to show up, but I'm trying to listen to determine what's that noise, where is it coming from? So all I'm saying is if you unfortunately are so preoccupied by, you know, hmm, I never experienced this, but I'm sure sometimes in residence uh, for university, I'm sure sometimes there's noise when you would prefer there not to be noise because you're probably trying to study or something like that. So do you see what I mean? If it's not a conducive environment for you, you will struggle. And you may think that you're doing okay, good for you. Like, and I say that with a whole heart of love, okay? If you can get through all the distractions, I guess my point is, my long-winded point, is that you got through it with all those distractions and a, and a, and a non-conducive environment. My darling, imagine if we, I don't know who we are, could give you an environment that you thrive in. Instead of having to survive, what if you had an environment you could thrive? That's all I mean. So I'm today, uh, hopefully, going to provide some tips, tricks, and techniques that work for me. If you would like to use them, my dear, that's what they're there for. I would like to try and make your time in post-secondary as least stressful as possible because let's call a spade a spade uh, you're gonna incur some stress that is natural that is to be expected I, I really think that is to be expected um, it's just how much stress is oops how much stress is um, is is good and how much stress is overwhelming that's where I think the big difference comes in. So nonetheless, um, so I, that doesn't go at all. I started St. Mary's um, and I really enjoyed how um, much of a smaller campus it was compared to some of the other campuses. Often uh, when I was going, St. Mary's had this silly, um, not reputation, but had this, well, there's really no other word coming to mind. They had a reputation for being like Roby Street High. Now, I don't personally think that was a slam against their um, their uh, teaching abilities. I think that was just because the campus literally is so small. It um, is certainly larger than other campuses, but um, when compared to campuses right down the road that take up a few city blocks, yes, St. Mary's, I guess, I guess, I guess, is Roby Street High. If, if that's the context you're using it, okay, I, I understand you. Nonetheless, um, what I liked was that I could walk um, to my classes without um, being late, without having to stress, without having to worry, like, that is what was great about it for me. If you are someone who, you know, doesn't, that doesn't really bother, well then, you know, don't worry about it. However, um, the other things that I liked about it, um, sorry, I'm just trying to think. 
Uh, the other things that I liked about it was that um, it seemed, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess in a sense it was kind of a little high school, just in a sense that because it was a bit smaller, you would see a lot of the same people over and over and over. And so really that does make it easier to make friends. Um, because I must say in high school, I certainly struggled, but in university, oh, that is, university was really where I kind of came, came into my own. Um, it was an environment where, well, again, like I said earlier, conducive environment. It was an environment where I was no longer being bullied. So of course, of course I'm going to thrive because I did get through high school. I got through high school, uh, with really good marks, um, even though I was in a battle every single day with my bully. So now flip it to, as I said earlier, now I'm in an environment where I don't have to worry about being bullied. Well, I actually did fairly well at university, not like, you know, valedictorian or anything like that, but that's okay because for me, when I went the first time, I also wanted to gain some experience um, some university experience. So I wanted to, um, and if you're waiting to hear illicit stories, like you're not going to hear that. I am, <laughs> I am very, very boring in that type of, um, in that type of stuff. So I guess if that's what you tuned in for, so sorry for you, too bad, move on. Um, but I just really wanted to, you know, go to university and, um, really like make, make friends and as well, like, learn and, um, you know, maybe, you know, go out and go dancing or, you know, some stuff that I think, um, that I think a lot of, you know, especially girls, like I, listen, I identify as she and her, um, I identify as woman. So I don't really, I don't think I have the right to speak on, uh, someone else's experience or what they felt. So I'll just go off of my own. But yeah, I wanted to do things like go dancing. Like I think that's what a lot of um, a lot of young people want to do. Um, you know, is just like kind of get that freedom to I don't know, like just have fun. Really, like you know, it's oh I can stay up till whatever time. Yeah. That being said, that that exact part of that sentence. I can stay up till whatever time, even though I have class in the morning. Well, you can, you absolutely can. However, realize, sorry, my dog's on one of the beds. Are you in the girl. Realize that if you do, um, you know, stay up all night at a party, you, your body still needs sleep and if anything, because especially if you've been living at home, um, which is fine, um, that to be expected, uh, your, your, your guardians probably had some curfews for you. So if you're someone who is used to getting, uh, you know, several hours of sleep, my dear, <laughs> trust me from experience, you will struggle with only two hours of sleep. You may be able to do it, but I can tell you, you won't be able to think as clearly. You may be more reactive. And I just don't know if you're paying or you have a loan that you're eventually going to have to pay back. Let me get into that a little bit later. Um, you know, you're paying for this opportunity. So, yes, going out, having fun, getting into mischief that is not actually mischief because I'm not here to encourage bad behavior. I'm just here to say absolutely go out, have fun, make friends, but just be careful what you get yourself into and, you know, realize that it's all fun and games, but your edu not only your education, your future is on the line, okay? It is that important. This, your 20s, to me, is the time when you may be thinking, what do I want, what job do I want to commit myself to for the unforeseeable future? Now, that could change. However, I think when you get into university, you are there because you are thinking about your future. And that is a very responsible and beautiful thing. 
And when I, I, I may say university over and over, I mean post-secondary. Please don't allow my slip-ups to ruin the whole conversation for you. I'm trying my best to catch myself, but I didn't, um, you know, I, I really remember my university time. So that's why I speak of that so much. Nonetheless, um, but if you are not mindful or demure, as the, as the trends would say, uh, then literally you are, you are wasting your time. And unfortunately, you eventually will have to pay back that student loan that you took out. Now, you may think, oh, no, I have it all figured out and blah, blah. Okay. I, I, in, in all honesty, if you have it figured out, good for you. I have to say I'm jealous because I'm sitting here at 40 and I don't have it figured out at all. And that makes me very nervous. However, um, you know, when I was in my 20s going to university, I certainly felt more prepared. Um, so I guess long-winded rant of it all is have fun, work hard, play hard, but just be careful. And especially one, one topic I do find a bit sad, um, but I do think is necessary to talk about is, um, parties, drinking, drugs, all that stuff. Um, I was very lucky and I got through, um, all of my post-secondary education, uh, without trouble, um, you know, without, uh, I'm not trying to pinpoint anyone, believe me, I'm not, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm sure that people who accepted that drink from a stranger, um, you know, wish they hadn't, or, you know, this, like, these are big, big, big topics, which I find very hard to discuss on a platform that, you know, I don't really have a lot of editing capabilities or a lot of abilities to talk to the platform to say, what can I talk about what I can't? So nonetheless, if you're going to party, party safe. Okay. Buddy system, only consume what you know is safe. Okay. I'll move on from that because that can be a very, very, very touchy topic for some people. I'm not here to make people angry. Hand to goodness, I'm really not. I just want everyone just to be careful and to be safe. However, post-secondary education can also be a ton of fun. So I'm going to choose to focus on m more so those types of topics, like more so fun topics. Um, oh, there we are. Um, but, oh, there we go. So what else did I like about St. Mary's? Um, I really enjoyed the fact that, um, hmm. Do you know what? Honestly, I feel, a sp okay, let me break it down. So history. I feel like the history department was so strong at St. Mary's. I feel like they really brought their, their, their A game, um, any questions that I ever had were asked, were, I'm sorry, were answered in such a thoughtful and mm, very inspiring um, explanation. And what I mean by that is, you know, sometimes when you ask someone a question and they answer it, but they answer it in such a way that it's like, don't you dare ask them another question because they're just so... They, although they, as I said, although they did answer you, they shut you down so fast. So at the same time, what I liked about, no, 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 sorry, I just don't want my cat to hit the, you guys can't see my cat's trying to play with the tripod uh, legs and I just don't want the camera to go f smashing. Okay, Fritzy, no, Fritzy, go please. Um, nonetheless, uh, I do, I really felt like the St. Mary's History Department really brought their A-game because you would ask a question and they would answer it, but they would answer it in such a way that, um, you know, you may have another question, but they encouraged that. And that was like, that was the most beautiful part about my education because imagine how I felt going from 
uh, high school where I was bullied so badly to all of a sudden going into an environment where they're encouraging you to ask the questions. Like, that's transformative for some people to actually be heard. Wow, like that is, that's everything. That is like, and that to me is the best part about education because you get around like-minded individuals and you're all there to learn. So learn, like, you know, ask the questions, learn. Anyway, I could go on and on. Come on, Fritz, come on. Fritzy, go, enough. Just hang on one sec, guys. Fritzy, go, come on, no, enough, enough. Stop on the back, go, go. Ay, man. Okay. <clears throat> She is a lovely cat, um, but I just don't need my, uh, I just don't want my uh, really expensive camera to go flying, and uh, yeah, <laughs> just that, just yeah, I just, I just don't want my nice stuff to get broken, that's all. All right, well, this puzzle is coming together quite nicely, so that's always a plus. There. I don't think I have it facing the right way, but that's certainly fine. Um, okay, what else? What else? So yeah, I really enjoyed um, always feeling like, you know what it was? I always felt like I belonged. And that was, that was everything for me. Um, again, coming from a high school where um, the problem wasn't addressed, um, the bully, uh, instead I was made to move classes. So I certainly had friends in, um, I didn't have a heck of a lot of friends, um, but I certainly had some friends in the class that I had to move away from. So explain to me how that's fair. There's a bully, um, but yet nothing's going to be absolved with that. It. Um, we're just going to move the victim like, oh my gosh, that just makes me so cross. And you know what? I hope that none of you had to go through that. I know you did. I know bullies are still out there. And you know, you see all this, oh, let's talk text day and all that. Okay. Why don't we just address the bullies? Like, why are they just allowed to just get away with these horrific, horrific acts where really, you know, if someone Bullying to me is such a serious topic because you have no idea if what you just said could be the the last comment someone needed to hear before they made a very final decision. And that really gets me. Gosh, 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 that gets me. Um, you know, it, uh, oh, I just, I, I need to move on. I can't, I can't discuss how frustrated that all makes me. Um, okay, so what else did I like about university? Um, I also honestly liked the layout of the campus. Um, it, I always got parking, um, so that was convenient because obviously the more people you have, the, the harder it is to get a, to get a parking space. Um, but I always had parking. Um, now, I will say, uh, jumping ahead to comparing, which, you know, I don't, I try not to do anymore, but just so funny observation. Um, when I did my history major at St. Mary's and I, oh, camera's going to die. All right, guys, I got to go. Camera is going to die. All right. Sorry. It was going to be a good story.